Okay, let's admit it. We are a nation of coffee addicts. 83% of adults in the U.S. drink coffee, which makes us the world's largest consumer of this caffeinated beverage. And while not all of us partake in the daily ritual, there's no denying coffee's impact. A $30 billion a year industry, an antioxidant-rich drink, a flavorful ingredient, a connoisseur's fixation, and a beverage that brings people together. Craft roasting, which means using small batches of high-quality beans, has steadily grown in popularity over the years. Like wine and beer before it, specialty coffee is finally getting its due as a complex, varied, and nuanced beverage. In Dubuque, two enterprising cousins are craft roasting their own blends, providing their own unique take on Iowa roasted coffee. Every bean has its own characteristics that you bring out in the roasting process. So a Sumatra will roast different than a Colombian. Colombian will roast different than a Sumatra. Craft roasting is, is piecing out all those elements and working on each bean individually. Verena Street Coffee began its journey in 2011. Cousins Michael and Eric Gantz saw an opportunity to grow their family business by becoming coffee roasters. Today, you can walk into many grocery stores around the state and find roasts with names like Shot Tower Espresso, Lock and Dam 11, and Mississippi Grog. So we try to be like the, like the Ben and Jerry of the coffee industry. You know, that was our idea. Michael and I are a nice mix. Uh, we're kind of two extremes. He's kind of more of the big dreamer, uh, you know, up in the clouds kind of, and I'm more of the grounded, you know, let's make sure it makes sense financially. I've got um, the accounting background, uh, and he's got the marketing degree. That's where we kind of balance each other out. Coffee can be a divisive beverage. Some people don't care for it, while others can't live without it. No matter your preference, there do seem to be some perks to drinking it. Coffee is packed with abundant antioxidants, and a number of studies point to health benefits. The aroma of a freshly brewed cup of coffee can permeate an entire room, and one study has even shown that the rich scent alone can help wake up caffeine addicts. Even in gardening, coffee has a use. Composting the spent grounds helps to add nitrogen to a compost pile, and that can be fertilizer for some plants. For coffee aficionados, flavor is everything. For roasters like Michael, it becomes an art to find that perfect flavor profile. It's kind of like wine. Beans will vary from time to time. I could get a Sumatra in today that's gonna taste different than the next batch of Sumatra I might get because it's a crop and crops do change over time. So we're constantly analyzing our blends, making sure that they're following the same characteristics. So the Nine Mile Sunset you'd purchase today tastes just the same as a Nine Mile Sunset you might purchase next year. One thing is certain with the recent growth in the coffee industry. We have more options than ever. Whether you want a light, dark, or flavored roast, Arabica or Sumatra, Highland or Lowland, you can find it. And across Iowa, you'll meet individuals like Michael and Eric, showing the limitless potential of entrepreneurship and crafting a high-quality beverage many can enjoy.